everyone, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Clara McDonnell. I am an actor and a musician. If you're subscribed to this channel, you probably know that. Some of you don't know that I'm a life draw model. I'm one of those people that takes my clothes off for money. All in the name of art. I've been doing this for about 10 years and even some of my friends don't fully understand what I do. Recently, I was quite double booked. I had to put a call out on my Facebook page looking for other models and I did kind of state experienced life draw models because not everybody understands what they're going to get themselves into. I got quite a lot of private messages off of people saying, do I have to take my clothes off? Would it be okay if I lay down and slept? So I'm going to talk about life draw modeling from my own perspective. I have been doing it over 10 years. I'm still doing it. In fact, at the moment, I've worked about 23 days in a row, daytime and some evening classes. Life draw modeling can be something that's really good to help supplement another creative career. I find it's very flexible work. I might be flexible anymore. Sometimes I feel that some people have this romanticized view of life draw modeling, possibly due to the Titanic movie. I've actually never seen all that movie, I just admitted that to the world. Some people think that it's just this sexy thing of like lying back, relaxing, and half sleeping, and being painted, you know? Or being drawn while you're like reclining, all relaxed, and not in pain at all. It can be quite painful. Today I had a pose that was one and a half hours. And I asked, could I do a little tiny stretch out in between? I couldn't. But um, I was allowed to listen to music or anything on YouTube if I wanted for an hour and a half. And I listened to um, a Law of Attraction subliminal messages video. Yeah. But it was a sleep one. That was a bad idea. Because sometimes if you find yourself falling asleep in a pose, that's another thing people have asked me, can you fall asleep in a pose? I mean, people are naturally going to move a little bit when they're, when they're breathing and slight shuffles. But if you're moving a lot in your sleep, you're just fecking up that whole painting or drawing, you really are. When there's short poses, I like to do a little bit of yoga. I have to kind of test my balance sometimes. But you know, hold the stomach muscles in and you can hold a balancing pose for a lot longer. That's a little trick anyway. I've had people in the past say to me, am I not embarrassed? To be naked in the room. Hey, is there something wrong with my body? You know what? There's nothing wrong with anybody's body. That's the whole thing. Everybody is made differently, and that's what makes everybody's body so unique and special. Oh, I sound like an absolute gosh, I'd say that. So the only time photos have ever been taken of me in a life drawing class was when I was actually clothed for a portrait session, and some of the students might have been asked, and I was also asked as well for my permission. You might have been asked, do you want to take a photo of Clara so you can finish your work at home? There are many reasons why I should be an absolutely horrible life drawn model. People that know me on a personal level know that I speak quite a lot and I don't have the best concentration in the world. So a little trick I do is, I'm very aware of continuity through acting and through film. So I will kind of pick a point to stare at and fix my gaze on that and I will meditate and I will visualize. I'm very much into the law of attraction, getting even more so into it in the last year. I'll get into that in another video, but that is kind of a thing I do to help myself concentrate. I have quite a bit of eczema on my right leg, I don't know why, and on my foot. Ugh, that's another secret. Sometimes I really have to control the urge to scratch myself. And I suffer from the cold, I know, like a lot of people in Ireland, I suppose. My feet and hands get quite cold. And sometimes students in the room might have the window open when I enter the room or, oh, the back door was open in a room today. Years ago, I used to have a small portable heater that I used to put in a backpack and I used to actually bring it to classes in case there was none or one was broken. I have actually been in classes before where they said, the heater is broken, I hope that's okay, or the radiators won't turn on, and that's in the middle of the winter. But my portable heater was actually stolen in a pub. Yeah, I was doing live drawing modeling in a pub before in Dublin. Sweeney's in Dublin on Dame Street. That was a kind of cool pub that used to exist that no longer exists. There are some items that you really should have with you if you're going to be modeling at a life drawing class. A gown is a must because you don't want to be walking around naked the whole time. Maybe you do. Also, a hair bobbin. A lot of the time, if you have long hair, you will be asked to tie your hair back. There have been times where I've forgotten a hair bobbin and I have just had to ask if anybody had an elastic band, which is not the best thing for your hair. Also, slippers are socks. I don't always do this, but when I don't, I end up with what I like to call charcoal feet. There have been times where I forgot my gown and I've had a really long coat with me, so I put that on in between poses. But you know, sometimes that can look a little bit dodgy. Another thing people have said to me is, have my boyfriends in the past or right now been jealous of my life drawn modeling? That's why I'm single! <laughs> so has anything seedy or dodgy ever happened to me? Not really. And there was one instance where it could have been a bit weird, I'm not really sure. So I was modeling at an evening class in Dublin 
and this older gentleman came up to me, I'd say he was possibly mid-sixties, and he asked me if I'd model for him in his home, it would just be me and him, and he said he wasn't very good, but he was going to pay me, and there would be lots of red wine. I declined. I don't like red wine. I feel like I'm one of the oldest female life draw models in Ireland, that a lot of the female models are early 20s to late 20s, and a lot of the male models are a lot older, which is quite interesting. I wonder is that because women subconsciously or consciously get to a certain age and they just think, I don't want to take my clothes off anymore. Do I see myself doing this forever? I don't know. But I would hate to think I would get to the stage where I would think, I'm a certain age now, I don't want to take my clothes off in front of people. Although my preferred profession is not being a life draw model. This is something I do to do what I do, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather be performing music, writing music and acting, obviously, but I'm still in an artistic environment alongside artistic people. There's not a lot of money to be made in life drawing modeling. Some people think, oh, well, you take your clothes off. It's physically hard at times and you're cold, but it's a lot of money. I would be very interested to hear from other life drawing models from other countries how much money, if they could tell me, they make. So anyway, in Ireland, in the art colleges, it's a lot less money per hour than in the evening courses, of course. Hourly rate would be anything between 12 euro an hour to 30 euros an hour, and that's kind of it, really. I've had quite a few embarrassing moments over the years, of course. One of the things is, it happens quite regularly, what I like to call an inwards facial yawn. I don't really know what it's called, but it's when I need to yawn, I shouldn't yawn, and I try just keep my mouth closed, and it looks like my whole face is having spasms and stuff. I have had people say to me, are you okay there, Clara? As I said earlier, I like to fix my gaze at a point and just focus and meditate. But sometimes I might come out of the gaze for a second, especially if a teacher's talking to me or, or something happens. I'll accidentally make eye contact with somebody in the room, and I think they're actually more embarrassed than me, so it's kind of funny. Stretching is so important. If you don't stretch, you're gonna be even more stiff. So in between poses, when I'm told to take a little break, I will always do a lot of stretches. Short poses, you can be more experimental, you can do yoga stuff, you can do kind of dance moves. I do prefer the short poses because obviously they're less painful. They can be more fun, especially in front of animation students. The shortest poses I've ever had to do were 15 seconds, believe it or not, just to show movement. My very first time ever doing life drawing modeling was at the RHA, which is quite a prestigious place for life drawing modeling in Dublin. I stupidly picked a pose where I was seated on a podium, one leg under another leg for 25 minutes. My leg underneath went completely numb, but I didn't know that was gonna happen. It was my first day. So I stood up and I collapsed. Everybody thought I fainted, and apparently, the day before that, somebody had actually fainted in the RHA, and I think they might have been taken away in an ambulance. I've never really felt too awkward taking my clothes off, but I do feel my body confidence, in general, has changed through being a life drawing model, because you walk around the class afterwards, and you see different versions of yourself, so you realise other people's perception of you might be different than your perception. And between all of them, their different perceptions of you is completely different as well. Thank you so much for watching. There will be more videos like this. Sit down, random, chatty videos. And of course, there'll be more music videos. A music video for my next single, Dusty Glitter, will be out soon-ish because the single is being released on the 18th of October. Part of that music video was filmed at Electric Pig. A little bit of a messy idea to be filming a music video at Electric Picnic. If you like this video, want to see more videos from me, hear my music videos, watch them, hear them, well, what am I saying, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, hit the bell icon because you'll get even more notifications. And don't forget to like this video. Please comment below if you're a life drawing model because I'd love to know your own experiences, bits of advice, tips for people. And also, if you want to get into life drawing modeling, do comment below and I will be sure to reply to you.